Today we are going to install the SparkFun Razor 9 Degree of Freedom IMU package for Ross on the Jetson TK1. Let's get started. <laughs> Starting to sound like Oprah. Okay, let's go to the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub. We are going to grab the install Razor IMU Ross repository. Git clone. Get that B. We'll switch over to that directory. So on this particular Jetson TK1, I have the custom kernel installed that we built the last episode. Ross is installed. And I took the SparkFun IMU off of the race car and connected it to a USB cable, which is then connected to the Jetson. So the first thing we want to do is set up a Catkin workspace. And we'll call it Jetson Bots. The next thing that we will do is install the Razor package. Installation complete. Let's go look at the script we just ran, which was install Razor here. It did three things. It installed the Razor package for ROS. It installed some visualization tools so that we can look at the output from the IMU. And it also installed the Arduino software. We will use the Arduino software to flash the IMU with AHRS firmware. We can go over to the ROS wiki for the Razor package, and it gives you a rundown of all the different things you can do, including calibrating the IMU. For now, we will just flash the firmware. We are now ready to flash the IMU. Let's switch over to the Jetson bot Catkin workspace. We will source the devil. Switch over to the razor. And now we are going to copy the AHRS sketch over to a place where the Arduino can see it. Let's open up a file browser. So in our Arduino sketchbook, we can see the razor area. Here's our sketch. The first thing that we need to do is select which hardware we're using. So we'll look for hardware options. We are using the 10736, so we uncomment that. Save it. And we want to set up the Arduino now for flashing. So we go to Tools, select which board. Arduino Pro or Pro Mini, 3.3 volt, 8 megahertz with AT Mega 328. We want to be on 
the USB port that the IMU is located it happens to be dev TTY USB zero in this case. And we're ready to upload the sketch. So we hit file, upload. We're done uploading, and now we're ready to run ROS. Close this up, and we will run ROS Core. Source of Devel. Start up ROS Core there. We open up a new terminal. Go over to Jets and Bots, source the devil. Before we run the visualizer, let's make a backup of our configuration. So, our, so let's switch over to the Razer IMU package. Switch over to config. So permission denied, you need to do this with sudo. Here's a neat trick. sudo bang bang means just to execute the previous command with sudo prepended to it. So we're ready to launch a publisher. Ross launch. Let's open up a new terminal. Switch over to Jetson Bot Catkin Workspace. So we can see here that IMU is being published now. Some of the parameters. Ross topic echo slash IMU. There's the data that is being spit out by the IMU. So let's stop the publisher. And we will do a visualization. So now when we pick up the IMU, you can see that it changes the position here on the graphics display. Tilt it forward, tilt it back, point it north. So this is pitch, roll, then yaw is through the center, rotating through the center. We are ready to mount it back on the race car.